Let me start with a question to you, Senator Obama. Yes. Talking to a closed-door fundraiser in San Francisco 10 days ago, you got talking in California about small-town Pennsylvanians who have had tough economic times in recent years, and you said they get bitter and they cling to guns or they cling to their religion or they cling to antipathy toward people who are not like them. Now, you said you misspoke. You said you mangled what it was you wanted to say. But we've talked to a lot of voters. Do you understand that some people in this state find that patronizing and think that you said actually what you meant? Well, I think there's no doubt that uh, I can see how people were offended. Uh, it's not the first time that I've made uh, you know, a, uh, a statement that was mangled up. Uh, it's not going to be the last. Uh, but let me be very clear about what I meant, uh, because it's something that I've said uh, in public. It's something that I've said on television, which is that people are going through very difficult times right now. Uh, and we are seeing it all across the country, and that was true even before the current uh, economic hardships that are stemming from the housing crisis. Uh, this is the first economic expansion that we just completed in which ordinary people's incomes actually went down when adjusted for inflation, at the same time as their costs of everything from health care to gas at the pump have skyrocketed. And so the point I was making uh, was that when people feel like Washington's not listening to them, when they're promised year after year, decade after decade, that their economic situation is going to change, and it doesn't, then politically they end up focusing on those things that are constant, like religion. They end up feeling, this is a place where I can find some refuge. This is something that I can count on. Uh, they end up uh, being much more concerned about votes around things like guns, where Traditions have been passed on from generation to generation, and those are incredibly important to them. And yes, what is also true is that wedge issues, hot button issues, end up taking prominence in our in our politics. And part of the problem is that when those issues are exploited, we never get to solve the issues that people really uh, have to get some relief on, whether it's health care or education or jobs. So this is something that I've said before. It is something that I will repeat again. And yes, people are frustrated and angry about it, but what we're seeing in this election is the opportunity to break through that frustration. And that's what our campaign has been about, saying that if the American people get involved and engaged, then we are going to start seeing change. And that's what makes this election unique. Senator Clinton. Well, I am the granddaughter of a factory worker from Scranton uh, who went to work in the uh, Scranton Lace Mills when he was 11 years old, worked his entire life there, mostly six day weeks. He was also, uh, very active in the Court Street Methodist Church. And he raised three sons and was very proud that he sent all of them to college. I don't believe that my grandfather or my father or the many people whom I have had the privilege of knowing and meeting across Pennsylvania over many years cling to religion when Washington is not listening to them. I think that is a fundamental sort of misunderstanding of the role of religion and faith in times that are good and times that are bad. And I similarly don't think that people cling to their traditions like hunting and guns um, either when they are frustrated with the government. I just don't believe that's how people live their lives. Now that doesn't mean that people are not frustrated with the government. We have every reason to be frustrated, particularly with uh, this administration. Uh, but I can see why people um, would be taken aback and offended. Uh, by the remarks. And I think what's important is that we all listen to one another and we respect one another. And we understand the different decisions that people make in life um, because we're a stronger country because of that. And certainly the weeks that I have spent crisscrossing uh, Pennsylvania from Erie to Lancaster County and meeting a lot of wonderful people um, says to me that Despite whatever frustration anyone has with our government, people are resilient, they are positive, and they're ready for leadership again that will summon them to something greater than themselves and that we will deliver on that if given a chance.